hi guys uh, welcome back this is uh, tech guru uh, today we will be creating an assembly of a engine called as Mitchell cam engine okay what you see on the screen is the animation of a Mitchell cam engine okay in Mitchell cam engine we have um, uh, three three or more than three cylinders it can be two or more than three more than two cylinders okay uh, what happens is the cylinder piston re reciprocates inside uh, reciprocates alternatively and the piston is connected to a cam wheel okay what you see here is a cam wheel okay uh, what happens is uh, as the pistons pistons of different cylinders reciprocate at alternatively which are in contact with the cam slot okay uh, the uh, cam wheel is set in motion and thus the engine is uh, mo uh, mo engine motion is created we have we have already created the entire assembly we will assemble it using creo mechanism and then uh, we will animate it in okay let's start here now i'll pause this we'll open it okay assembly we'll call it as no, we'll not use default we'll Mitchell engine okay say okay then this is the assembly that we'll be using say yes okay open all go to options go to system models say isometric apply say ok save it here first thing is we are going to bring our uh, what you can say piston set not piston set the cylinder as default okay so keep it in default condition okay and then the first thing is we are open it and that's it nothing more and nothing less save this then first thing first what we will do is we will assemble all the uh, pistons inside okay so this is the piston set we will use cylinder option here cylinder this with this move it up okay once this is done then we have translation we don't want to use translation we use planar okay so planar this will be planar with this okay yes so we will keep it as it is because we have to use lot uh, what you can say uh, con constraint uh, slot constraint we will use when we will bring the wheel assemble the remaining two Okay, this is done. Edit definition, bring it down. Okay. I think I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Planar, planar connection is not this remove this and use this one correct okay bring one more
perfect now guys we'll do one thing we will use this and create one more planar okay so one more planar where is it set planar this with do we have it we should have it yeah it is here perfect okay so that's it now go here take one more set planar we have used this we will use this and this what happened it is it didn't set quite well probably pick the wrong uh, datum perfect okay set it edit definition what I have done is I have fixed it in this direction just need to fix it in this direction where is planar this with this perfect okay so now we have done the assembly of cylinder and piston we will bring in the wheel okay so cam wheel is here so we will use pin for this yes we will use this with this perfect we have it now we will bring it here close to this okay and then then translation this and this and we need it as distance 40 flip 40 in this direction 40 okay so we that's it now we will create slot ex slots okay we will use slot and we will create slot mechanism cam wheel edit definition okay new set slot pick this and this there it is now pick the entire slot okay control this curve this this and this is the only time com consuming work here because we have to create uh, click on the entire slot stuff uh, slot curve okay so it happens so this is done okay one is done now we'll go for the other okay so click here say this and we'll change it to wireframe and this okay then back we are yes done click on this 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 then zoom click on this okay then this 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 and this so our second one is done finally we we'll come here okay edit definition we have one more slot to work on 
and that is back here okay then pick this then go back again and change it to wireframe pick this it's perfect it will auto sit correctly so we don't have to do it given everything is right it will auto sit otherwise it won't again you will have to sit and analyze where you went wrong pick this pick this pick this okay so it's done done guys so we are done with our uh, assembly work now we will have a quick look what we will do is uh, we will deselect uh, everything directly go to applications go to mechanism okay we'll go to motors servo motors here okay and then we'll click on okay here it is I picked it now I have come to velocity I will say 10 apply okay okay now go here say I don't need anything okay new now you can pick kinematic or you can pick uh, anything and there it is uh, this is what we call as uh, Mitchell uh, Mitchell cam engine okay we'll increase it to 20 okay then say okay we'll go back to servo motors and then say edit we'll go here and we'll make it as 20 apply okay then we'll come here back again and we'll say run okay so this is our engine and this is a mechanism that we have we were going to study today a little bit of uh, setbacks because sometimes you will not be able to pick the axis because it, there will be too many datums and all so this is it I am unable to show all those walls here because it becomes too complicated and walls and inlet walls like fuel 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 inlet and uh, exhaust valve there will be there will be too many okay so I'm sorry for that okay and this there is one more assembly that I need to assemble guys so I'll cancel this I will save it okay and then come back and say yes open then Mitchell will cover come here this will sit with respect to to the outer windshield will okay sit with respect to this and then what I'm gonna do is constrain this with respect to this okay we'll sit here go inside okay done now hide everything again now go back to mechanism okay and then run again there it is so this is what we were going to do today I hope you people have enjoyed it and you got you guys got to learn about a new engine called as Mitchell engine okay even I got to know, learn about this a couple of days back and it was very interesting for me and I thought I should teach you people regarding this and I have already taught you all in the previous tutorial how to create animation okay so you and this is how it will be I have hid hidden the 
cover and I have tried to create animation this is how the animation will work okay so that's it guys I hope you people have enjoyed this tutorial try this okay this is not a complicated one try it at at your end and uh, try to practice the Creo mechanism thank you